Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. And as you can see, I am in the kitchen again because I'm fixing to make something. Um, this is probably the second time I've made this. Um, this is a bread recipe and it's been in the family for quite some time. Actually, I think this recipe has been in my family for probably over close to 50 years. I have a little notebook um, when I was first married that I used to write recipes down. Like after I found a recipe and I tried it to make sure I liked it, I would put it in that notebook so that I could always find it again. And as you know, I've been going through my house and downsizing, getting rid of stuff. And uh, so I was looking through this uh, notebook the other day and I found this bread recipe. And that's what I'm going to make today. Uh, three ingredients. And according to, I always write little notes at the top telling um, how I thought it turned out and how hard it was to make it. And according to what I put down at the top of it, it's pretty easy and it turned out good. Now this recipe come from a, a TV program, uh, used to be on channel 12, CBS, uh, called uh, Mr. Foods. Does anybody remember him? It's one of his recipes. So I'm going to get started on it. The first thing I want to do is show you the book. Can you see how old and yellow this is? Um, now, it does say that this particular recipe, um, I wrote in here in 98, but I do have some recipes in here that I've dated from 1970. Here's one right here. This one here is from 1971. Can you see how old and yellow these pages are? Um, falling apart. I've had this notebook for a long time. And I think after I get through with it tonight, see pages are falling out of it. I'm going to put it inside of a Ziploc bag to keep it. Um, I've actually, the cover, the front and back uh, cardboard cover has actually come off. The only cardboard in it is right is in the middle where I've wrote the different categories of what's in there. Casseroles, vegetables. Um, and then I have one that's got dessert items and meat and stuff like that. And this recipe here uh, was in September of 98. It says it's good. It's very easy. And as I said, there's only three ingredients in it. So let me tell, put it back up here and I'll tell you what the ingredients are in it. If I can get it to sit back up there. Um, the recipe's name is called Easy Mayo Rolls. It says it makes one dozen. I've evidently made it before. I wouldn't have wrote that it's good and very easy. Everything that I put in that book is a recipe that I've made before. The first things you need is three cups of self-rising flour, which I've got in here. Then you need a cup and a half of milk, which I've got there. I'm not going to pick up because it'll spill. And then a third cup of mayonnaise. Now, I don't have any mayonnaise, but I have Miracle Whip. That's what I use. I like Miracle Whip. So I'm hoping the Miracle Whip will work just as good as the mayonnaise. Preheat your oven to 425 and coat a 12-cup muffin tin with nonstick spray. Now, I didn't have, I got a, uh, a muffin tin that's 12, 12 cups, but the cups are in really bad shape. I don't know if you can see that or not. There's one you can see really good. So instead of spraying it and putting food directly in it, I'm going to try it with these little paper uh, cupcake things, and I hope that it'll work. All right. Spray it. And then it says in a medium bowl, you combine all the ingredients, mix well, and spoon equally into the muffin pan. So here we go. I'm going to put this right here, and I'm going to make like a little well in the middle like a little opening in the middle to put this the ingredients in. I'm going to put the half a cup of milk in first and stir it a little bit. Then I'm going to put the whole cup of milk in and stir it a little bit. Here's what it looks like so far before I've added the mayonnaise to it. 
Now I'm going to add the mayonnaise, which is actually Miracle Whip. And that's all the ingredients that it calls for. So Okay, here's what it looks like mixed up. Now, I sure hope that that Miracle Whip doesn't mess it up because I know that Miracle Whip is actually a salad dressing and mayonnaise is a different thing entirely. But it's already in there now, so too late to change my mind. All right, now I'm going to get the muffin tin and try to spoon it in here. I'll start off just putting one spoon like this into each muffin, and then if I need more, I'll go back. Okay, I've got all the muffin tins full. I tried to distribute as evenly as I could. Some of them look like they got more than the others, but just make for a bigger biscuit. Then after you get them in there, it says you're to bake them in the oven for 12 to 15 minutes or until golden, serve warm, or allow to cool slightly, and then remove to a wire rack. So, as usual, I'm going to put them in the oven, bake them for the 12 to 15 minutes, and then I'll bring you guys back when they get done and let you have a look at them. So, see you in 15 minutes, YouTube time. Hi everyone, I'm back now and I have the biscuits out of the oven. Now they're not as golden brown as I thought that they would be. And I really can't remember when I made them last time if they were. Uh, it could have something to do with this stove that I'm using. It's a very, very old stove. Um, and I could have put them underneath the broiler and got them brown, but I didn't do that. It said to cook them 12 to 15 minutes. I actually cooked them closer to 20 minutes and they still this is what they look like but I'm going to take one out now and I'm going to take the smallest one I let them cool down a little bit and I'm going to try and put some butter in it and see if they it may be too using that miracle whip might not have been such a good idea you may have to do it with the mayonnaise in order for it to come out right because I'm and I really need to get another muffin tin because, look, I'm losing half my biscuit on my paper, it looks like. But be that as it may, we're going to put a little bit of butter inside and see. I should have got my soft butter out instead of the stick butter. They might taste good. They look, don't look as as great as I was hoping they would look, but they might have a really good taste to them. So I'm going to take this little piece right here. And I'm going to give it a little sample. Here's what it looks like. I mean, they look like they're cooked all the way in the middle. There's no raw dough or nothing in there. Well, they're certainly different. I say that much. And it could be a combination of things. It could be the stove, like I said. Um, I'm noticing now I didn't have it at the right temperature. My recipe says 425. And I actually cooked them at 350. That could have something to do with it. The fact that I didn't use mayonnaise, Miracle Whip, that could have something to do with it. So, when I make them next time, I mean, I can't do nothing about the stove except just to put it at the right temperature next time. <laughs> make sure it's at 425 instead of 350. And get some mayonnaise. I don't generally keep mayonnaise around because I don't like it. 
but I might be able to get some of the little uh, packets like you get at the drive through from one of the convenience stores of mayonnaise and use that or borrow some from my neighbor. Anyway, be that as it may, here they are. They don't look too bad. And I'm thinking, uh, um, like, make a, in the morning, fix some bacon with them or something. Maybe put an egg in the middle. Make, like, a biscuit McMuffin, <laughs> a homemade biscuit McMuffin, or, you know, egg biscuit, something like that, and they'll still be edible. So thank you guys a whole lot, a whole bunch. Appreciate you. A gajillions. Thank you for coming to my channel. And uh, you'll come back and see me any old time. Bye for this one.